you walk down the street in any group of people over 40 and ask them who has a medicine, almost everyone will have one. Almost everyone. Uh, because that's what we do. People go to a physician, and what's their expectation? That you're going to get a prescription. So it's very different when you're turning to people saying, let's find other ways of handling this. I think it's important to give people alternatives outside of meds. So hypnotherapy is one thing that we do, and I have two other programs that I've designed specifically that are not medication-based to help people learn to handle pain better that have nothing to do with pills. I was at to the point where I was tolerant to them. I mean, that's a downside with, with any opiate use, regardless of how bad you need it. I've gotten more improvement since I've done the hypnosis. It's, done, it's, it's made the biggest impact on the pain control. I'm down to probably a third of what my maximum dosage was, or even more than that, maybe a quarter. You know, your perception of pain is what it's all about, being able to break that. You know, this is what the self-hypnosis is doing, or hypnotherapy. It just distances the pain from me mentally. There was a big meta-analysis. The outcome of the uh, meta-analysis was, it's helpful. There's good evidence that this works. You can appreciate, because I do it, I want to know that it works. Uh, so I was very pleased to see the meta-analysis, but then I got this silly idea in my head. That, I should, that we should analyze each paper that's in the meta-analysis and make sure that it's of good quality. And the answer that came back, unfortunately, is that the uh, research data that the meta-analysis is based on is extremely mediocre. So the statement that hypnotherapy is helpful for chronic pain cannot be said with as much certainty as it was said. Do I think it's helpful? Yeah. I've been using it for myself for 30 years. Patients I see are always complex. I have osteoarthritis in all my major joints. I have rheumatoid arthritis, which is mostly your hands and feet. Uh, I have osteoporosis, which I got at a very young age. Injuries like broken thigh in two places, sur two surgeries on my knees, two surgeries on my wrists, two facial reconstructions, uh, hernia, and then I've got two diseases of my spinal column. Um, and there's probably a few more I have forgotten. <laughs> I didn't really start realizing the pain I had until I was in my 40s. And of course, you know, most doctors thought it was in my head. And eventually I came to Dr. Ennis. Finding the right doctor that understands, like Dr. Ennis, understanding pain, you know, has been a big help, right? Understanding the mental aspects as well, too. Uh, well, I started doing this uh, over 30 years ago. And then I trained in the States with some of the best at that time in the States to do it. I found out that being a somewhat messed up guy, which I am, was actually a huge advantage. And I may be a bit of a mess when I walk outside, but in here, in this context, I'm the boss because I know exactly what this feels like.